In this demonstration, I'm going to show you a tool that's available from this website. It's uh, itp-commerce.com, and they have a plug-in to Microsoft Visio called Process Modeler version 5, I guess, or 5. And I've downloaded their trial, and what it does is a plug-in to Visio, and when you say File New, one of your choices is the BPM in element set. And so what you can do now is draw your diagram in Visio, similar to Bepl, but this is the kind of the new standard, BPMN. And so, for instance, what we can do is you can have uh, pools and lanes, like a, 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 like a real swimming pool can have three lanes in it, right? So we could have two pools here, and one pool could be uh, our vendor, and one pool could be us. So if you click on one of your pools, and you go here to Process, un which is unnamed right now, go to attributes this cool little pop-up comes up and we can give our pool a name we will call this uh, ABC company and even though it doesn't display it on here so you can well it should have come up hang on one second if I go to properties you see here it says ABC company and then here it still says ABC company that's interesting, but if I click here, it doesn't say ABC Company. There. So I hit Enter instead of X, and now you can see it wrote it on the uh, left side. And I apologize, this is small, but again, I have to work with a very small screen in order to do this on the video. We'll zoom in in a minute. Here's the second pool, and so we'll do the same thing here. We'll go to Attributes, and here we'll type in... Uh, Trading Partner 1. Well, apparently that's not the way you do it. You do it down here. Trading Partner 1. Okay, now we need some lanes in our pool. So over here, we drop that in. And you might, if you just have one lane, you would probably just make this the full size of your pool. And then we'll put a lane in over here as well. So now we do the same thing. We go to our lane, and if you want to give it a name, let's just call it here Test Lane 1. You can see how it labels it over there on the left side. This is uh, maybe Process Order. Whereas this one, let's rename it. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. This one, let's call it uh, Send Order. Now, we want to start adding some shapes inside of here, similar to what we do in a BizTalk orchestration. So, so over here we do the start shape, and of course at the end we'll have an end shape. So now between these two places I might want to add some tasks here. So let's just say I have three tasks. And the first one is perhaps prepare the purchase order, get it ready to go. So here I'm going to say uh, prep PO. We'll keep it nice and short here. And then here we're going to call this one uh, send PO. And this one we will call receive confirm. So we definitely have to zoom this a little here. So you can be able to read it and so can I. Okay, then there's connectors, just like, uh, well, somewhat similar. You know, BizTalk kind of had the connectors built in, right? Here you have to connect these little boxes, kind of like you would in uh, normal Visio. So we do that. Stick that little thing there and hook it to the end here. And then we do one more. Hook it there. And then we need to get to our end shape over here. So we need one there as well. Okay, now in the other company, um, we're going to be sending the PO to buy something, right? So when we send it, this other company down here is actually going to receive it. So they have to have a receive task. I 
Actually, that's kind of the role we've been playing, I guess, in the, or we're going to play in a lot of the orchestrations in this course. We're the ones receiving the PO. And then after you receive it, they might process it. And then they want to send a confirmation to us or to the other company, the trading partner. And I'm going to go off the video and do some more connections here. Okay, I simply just connected the little lines there. Now you notice there's also a symbol over here called message flow. And so now what we're going to do is we're going to have messages go back between these two companies. So we want to have a message here. We're sending it from the guy who's doing the order and we're going to receive it down here by the other system. Okay. Then they're going to process the PO, which occurs entirely on their system, and then now they're going to send the confirmation back. So now we have to kind of like reverse this. The message goes from this company back up to this company. So this is kind of a very good way to show the interaction between two companies. A lot of times when you're doing BizTalk, you, do, you are doing uh, interaction between multiple vendors or multiple companies, B2B type work. So rather than drawing this in Visio, I mean Visio has other um, UML type tools where you have swim lanes and such, but now there's a tool called BPMN, basically Business Process uh, Management Notation, where you can actually kind of spec out your system and then define it in a, in a new way of notation to how these two companies are going to interact. So now I want to save this. I'll call it Visio BPMN Sample 1. So now when you're done with that, you're ready to validate your syntax. So you can go up here to Process, Diagram, and then there's a Validation, Validate link right here. And you can see we actually have a few errors. So it's kind of like doing a build in BizTalk basically. And it says here, Send PO. A task type of script manual or none must not have any message flows. So we, cr we connected a message flow from here to the other swim lane. And so what it's telling us is we have an invalid type of shape here. So over here we said task type of none. Now we need to be more specific. This is a task type of send. Now we'll do the same thing here. This will be a task type of receive. And then we will do the same thing on the opposite company over here. They have to have a receive. And then here this needs to be a send. Okay, so once again we go to process validate. Diagram validate. You can see this time we're not getting any errors here. Now ideally we would be able to now export this to BizTalk. And so you can come down here and say diagram export. And I'm not sure I have all the plugins to be able to do it because basically I do have just a demo I think version of this product. So right here is xlang BizTalk and then you pick the uh, different encoding. And then if there's any BAM options in there, it would also export those. So let's go ahead and click export here and just see what happens. Okay, so what it's saying here is it knows that in BizTalk you can't have, I think, blanks in the middle of your certain names because for C Sharp that would be illegal. So here where we have ABC Company and Trading Partner, we're going to have to actually uh, rename those. So like right here, if we double click that. change the name and here let's take that out so now we want to try again diagram export xlang biztalk export it didn't seem to pick up my change there
And now I'm going to save it in this folder, BPM and demo, under samples. It says two processes and or subprocesses were exported. And here is that directory on the disk. You see we have two ODX files, two orchestrations. And again, if you're familiar with how ODX looks like this way, it looks good. And now let's open one of those in Visual Studio. I'm just going to double click on it, but what we could do is also open an existing solution and then say add existing file. Okay, so this is the orchestration it built for us, and it looks pretty cool. You see here the uh, first thing called prep PO. That was basically a process that we didn't define what kind of process it was, right? So here, see, we never put task type. Uh, it might do something different, obviously, if we said script here or whatever. So since we didn't specify the type of process, it just built the old group box here inside Visual Studio. And then here's our send, here's our receive. And of course, it doesn't yet know what type of messages we're sending and receiving. So you'll still have to define your schemas and your messages and ports and all that kind of stuff. Um, but you basically have your basic structure of your orchestration here. And I, I believe this tool will also do a round trip where you could take your orchestration now and turn it into Bepl. Or, or sorry, not Bepl, but BPMN. So in this video, basically, again, what we've done is we've looked at a tool from this site called Business Process Modeling with uh, Process Modeler. That's the tool name. The company name is ITP Commerce. And you can download the, the demo just like what I was showing you here. And I think you'll find it a lot more useful than the old Bepl tool that, came with, that comes with BizTalk. Microsoft, as of yet, doesn't seem to have any support for BPMN. So that concludes this video. 